Hello and welcome to EUC TV. My name is Noron Alain. Environmental group Greenpeace has issued a report giving technology titans like Samsung, Amazon and Huawei low marks for their environmental impact. The report issued Tuesday blames many of the biggest technology companies for failing to deliver on commitments to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases, use more recycled materials and phase out use of toxic materials. The report ranked 17 global technology companies based on their commitment to making environment-friendly products. 이게 바로 뭐 10년 내뭐 10년 20년을 얘기하는 게 아니라 앞으로 3년 그리고 5년 안에는 이 재생 가능 에너지 그리고 기후 변화에 얼마나 그 기업이 잘 대응하고 있는지가 그그 그 기업의 핵심 경쟁력으로 어, 자리 잡을 것이라고 생각을 합니다. Greenpeace gave Apple an A minus, whereas South Korean companies such as Samsung and LG received Ds. Last Tuesday, European Union ministers arrived in Luxembourg to attend the General Affairs Council meeting after agreeing with Britain to speed up the country's departure from the Union. The European Union is demanding progress in issues, in issues, in issues such as the forest financial settlement, citizens' rights and the status of the border between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland through Brexit. To Russia May and the European Commission, President John claude Juncker said stall talks will accelerate over the month of to come. May will join the European Union countries at a summit later this week. We have made some progress, and certainly since the last uh, speech of Theresa May in Florence, but now we are, are waiting for concrete proposals. What are the real limits? Uh, the, we are working on the transition period, and the transition of two years. It's a proposal of the Prime Minister of the UK, but with what kind of consequence? So now we are waiting for the real concrete issues. On Monday, U.S. President Donald Trump expressed his belief that Cuba should be held responsible for the mysterious attacks that have resulted in injuring 22 American government workers in Cuba. Trump described ver the attacks as very unusual, but left the kind of weapons used ambiguous. I've written them personal letters. Uh, they've been sent or they're going out tonight, but they were written during the weekend. Uh, I will, at some point during the, the period of time, call the parents and uh, the families, because I have done that traditionally. Investigations are still ongoing, but America is blaming Cuba unlike the attacks that took place last year when the U.S. have not directly casted blame on the Cuban government. Eight were killed and 20 were injured at the firecracker factory explosion that took place on Thursday morning in eastern India during the Hindus' celebrations for their most popular Diwali festival. According to the Press Trust of India, Balasore District Administrator Paramut Kumar said that the huge explosion occurred as firecrackers were being made in a house used as a factory without legal license. This explosion was in the first in India. A recent one took place last June at a fireworks factory, killing 23 workers and injuring seven others. The seven injured people have been hospitalized, while others have already been treated and sent home. Last Monday, France's First Lady, accompanied by several members of the government, spoke out in support of women all over the world after attending a play that demonstrated sexual harassment against women. This uproar of anti-harassment statements using the hashtag MeToo on social media took place this week when tens of thousands of women identified themselves as victims of, social, of sexual assault. Elles sont très courageuses de le faire. Et je, pousse, je pousse vraiment à rompre le silence. C'est formidable. Quelque chose est en train de se passer. Vraiment. This call to action was initiated by U.S. actress Alisa Milano after Hollywood producer Harvey Winston was exposed of alleged sexual misconduct spanning the gates. On Sunday, French President Emmanuel Macron said that he wanted to speed up the process of investigating and, pro and prosecuting sexual harassers as a way to encourage women to come forward. This decision is also supported by Nicole Pilopi, the French Justice Minister. C'est une chose qui doit être travaillée. Il y a deux questions juridiques qui se posent. C'est d'une part l'exigence de preuves, comme dans tout procès. Et donc on peut se demander 
si, euh, avec un temps très long, les preuves ne se diluent pas. Et c'est d'autre part une question de constitutionnalité qu'il nous faut vérifier. The French president also said he wanted to revoke Winston's Legion of, of Honor Award, which is the highest French order of merit for military and civil merits. In Malawi, Philippines, soldiers exchanged gunfire with Islamic militants last Tuesday in an attempt to gain control over the last pocket of Marawi, which is controlled by the Islamic State. After the ongoing fight relative, relatively calmed down, Philippine President Rodero Duterte declared the southern city of Malawi liberated from any terrorist influences. The president visited the battlefield to cheers from drain-drenched troops, where he announced its liberation in a short speech from a stage at a ruined school campus. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare Marawi city liberated from the terrorist influence that marks the beginning of rehabilitation of the The President's speech gave the Philippine army and civilians assurance in their relations with the Islamic militia, while disregarding any further words over Malawi. Philippine military chef Jan Eduardo Anu told the Associated Press that the Philippine president's statement means that the threat from the militants who have occupied parts of the lakeside city for for five months is over. In line with a 31-year-old conservation program last Wednesday, thousands of Turkia turtles were freed into Peru's wilderness. 5,000 of the baby turtles released annually from October through November were released in Peru's Loreto department into protected rivers and lakes. This process takes place in coordination with the Agency of National Service of Areas Protected by the State. This organization is a specialized public technical agency in the state of Peru responsible for directing the standards for the conservation of the protected natural areas of Peru. Elisa Glars, Peru's Minister of the Environment said the turtles released helps to maintain the stock native to the region. This allows the native population to access them as traditional food resource, but not risk the extension of the animals. Mantener la población de Taricaya, sino también permite que ellos puedan usar la mitad prácticamente de toda esta producción para la comercialización. Thank you for watching the ECTV newscast. I'm Norona Alley. Follow us.